It's your boy, y'all, Chosen One. Um, <clears throat> man, I'm just like learning. Every day, man, I challenge you to learn something, man. Every day, I challenge you to learn something. Every day, I challenge you to go against this matrix that we're in because the things that they teach you <clears throat> aren't what they really seem, you know? <clears throat> Today, I'm going to discuss with you, man, something about... Um, Pretty much how they use numbers, particularly the numbers three, six, and nine. How they using these numbers to put us in this matrix? It's a systematic thing that was put in place. Um, <clears throat> all right, you got you got your two hands here, right? You got your two hands here. What the Sumerians were taught was that okay, you got five hands right here. On your left hand, on your right hand, you got, you know, use your four fingers right here. And each place where the line is right here, you see that? That's that's 12, right? So, you got these three knuckles. You got these three knuckles on five, so that's 15. And then you got these four. So they get the 15 times the 4, and that's 60, right? We'll get back to this in a second, okay? I want you to take a look at a square, for instance. You know, it equals up. It's, uh, the, the angles together is 360 degrees, right? So as a circle, uh, a triangle is 180. You take the 3, take the 6, take the 0, that's 9, that's nine right? With the 180, that's 1, 8, 0, that's 9. It equals 9 when you add them together, right? That all equals an F sharp. As far as like music is concerned, that's, that's an F sharp, right? Now, the number that we should be focusing on is number 432. That's the frequency. That's a natural frequency of life. 432 hertz is the frequency. Okay, that's note A, okay? You know, a hexagon, its total angles together is 720, 720, that's 9. Uh, a septagon, that's an A sharp, its total number angles together is 900, that's 900, that equals 9. A uh, pentagon, with, which is 540, that's 540, so that's also 9, right? Uh, a tetrahedron, 720, 720. 7 plus 2, 0, that's 9. That's also F sharp. Uh, a, a cube, which is a 3D square, is uh, 6 squared, which is 3, 3, 6, 0, 0, which is 3, 6, that's 9. So, here's where it gets, here's where it gets crazy. Remember the, remember the hertz, the frequency, which is 432, that's 432, that's 4 plus 3 is 7, 7 plus 2 is 9, right? Well, in your textbooks, what do they tell you the diameter of the moon is? What do they tell you? They say the moon is 2,160 miles in diameter, right? So you got the 2, the 1, the 6, 2 plus 1 is 3, 3 plus 6 is 9, right? So that's 2,160 miles. Or, get this, get this. They don't know. They just, they just throwing numbers out there. Take that 432 hertz divided by 2. What do you get? You get 216. And then they just, to make it bigger, they just added a zero to it. It's all BS, man. All BS. Peep this out. What's the diameter of the sun? 864,000 uh, miles in diameter, right? Again, straight BS. What they did is they took that 432 hertz and they multiplied it by what? 2. That gives you 864, right? And then they just added three more zeros onto it. That's all they did. They, they haven't been to the sun. How in the hell they know what the diameter of the sun is? They don't know. They just throw it at you. So when you're sending your, school, your kids to the school and they're systematically teaching you your kids, that this is a matrix. It's all involved. It's all together here. Now, what the Mayans did, 
the Mayans said that a great year is 25,920 uh, years. That, that equals a great year. And a great month is 2,160 years. There we go. 2,160. That's what the Mayans said. So whatever those Sumerians or the fallen ones, Inky, Anil, whatever you want to call them, came down here and taught those people of Babylon, Samaria, Egypt, uh, Atlantis, quote unquote. This was the stuff they was teaching. That's why you get all this stuff, 60 minutes, 60 seconds, 12, uh, you know, you get the, uh, like I said, with the 60, that comes with the hands. Here's something tricky. You can take that, um, what is it I'm look, looking for here? You can take that two. I think it's take that 432 hertz take that 432 hertz I want you to divide that 3 by 4 well you know well yeah divide the 4 by 3 so put the 3 on the outside put the 4 on the inside okay what you come up with so that comes down 1.39103 and it keeps repeating 1.333 right now take that 1.333 and divide it by 2 so put the 2 on the outside put the 1.333 on the inside do the math 2 and the 2 and the 1 you can't do it so 2 and the 13 is 6 Minus the 12, 1 into 3, 6. Minus the 12, 1 into 3, 6. Point six six six. Also, look at the earth. Look at the, look at the tilt on the earth. All right? Look at the tilt on the earth. They say it's, uh, what is it? 23.4. Uh, let me see. So a 90 degree angle is upright, right? So it is 90 minus 23.4. And you get what? 66.6. .6. See how this is all the matrix? They say the tilt of the earth is 23.4 degrees. If the earth was upright and stationary, you take that 23.4 and you minus that 90 degrees and you get 66.6. .6. Another thing I was peeping out, man, it's like everything is like a matrix, man. Like, for instance, man, you take the sum, uh, you take the sum, like, say, for instance, you got the, you got the 22,160. You divide that by 2. That's 1080, right? What things you know of in 1080? As far as hertz, 1080p, you know, as far as you're dealing with computers, that's the sum of the angles of an octagon, right? Now, take that same 2,160 divided by 3, and what you get? You get 720. 720p, all this frequency, right? That's a hexagon. That's the sum of the angles of a hexagon. Divide that 2160 by 4. What you get? You get the sum of angles. You get 540. That's the sum of the angles of a <clears throat> of a pentagon, right? Now, divide that 2160 by five. What do you get? You get that 432 hertz, and that's that mystery shape that they're trying to find. They can find all these sums of these angles, but they're trying to find that mystery shape to get to that 432 uh, degree angle degrees right there. It's a shape between a four-sided shape and a five-sided shape. The reality is, is that it does exist, but right now, that's what they're trying to find out. Think about it, your astrological signs. You know, three, six, and nine. Remember...
Tesla. That's the reason why Tesla didn't become the great inventor like they wanted him to because Tesla knew something. That's why they gave it to people like J.P. Morgan and other people like that. They didn't want Tesla to succeed because Tesla would have told you all the truth. Now, you just kind of think about it, man. 432 is, is your natural frequency, okay? <clears throat> 432 is a natural frequency. Your music today is played at 440 hertz. Why did they change it up? We're living in a matrix. Think about it, your New Testament Bible. 12 disciples, 1,244,000, 12, right? 144, that's 9. Man, I'm going to leave you to, with this, man. We're the only only country in the world that uses this metric system. 12 disciples. There's it. They even say it's 12 planets. But it's Pluto. Uh, uh, what's the other one? What's the other three? You know, but they say 12 signs of the zodiac. They have a dozen is 12 dozen. 12 inches equals a foot. 12 months, 12 months, 12 hours of daylight, 12 hours of night. 60 seconds, 60 minutes, it's all a system. You have to do your own homework on this, okay? Oh, one last thing. What's the speed of light? What's the speed of light? Speed of light is 186,600. Well, they routed it to 186,600. But you want to know how they got that? All they did was take that 432 and they squared it. They squared it. That's all they did. They're not, they're teaching you a bunch of BS, man. All, all I want you to do is study for yourself, all right? And and the earth orbiting around the, uh, uh, the sun, which is a whole heliocentric point of view, uh, it comes out to be uh, 660... Or six hundred six six or sixty six thousand six. It's all it's all a new it's all numerology, man. They don't know anything about space. They don't know anything. These images you get, like I said, I am a conspiracy theorist, but each day I want to learn and I want to and I want to see just exactly what they trying to hide. You know these secret societies, NASA and all this stuff. They feeding you bullshit, man. All right. Anyway, this is your boy, God's chosen one. I'll get back at you guys on the next vid. If you have any questions, just uh, holler at me. If uh, you if you have more information that we should know or that you've researched for yourself, feel free to uh, leave some information so others can learn and can feed off each other. Shalom. Love you guys.